Hello and welcome dear learners once again to MathLink Minds. We continue our journey of trigonometry. In the vast landscape of mathematics, there are very few tools which have much influence and versatility as trigonometric identities. So join us as we embark on a journey to uh, explore these uh, mathematical gems, the real gems of maths. To continue with, we'll start with the first three most fundamental uh, identities, trigonometrical identities, which of course are the only ones in the syllabus of class 10 for CBSC. Now, these are the three identities that we need to understand. We need to even uh, uh, accept or we need to even set out, uh, check out as to what are the applications of these three identities. Now, most of these, uh, we also know that all these functions, all these uh, ratios that we talk about, they're all based on a a right angle triangle. So here we have a right angle triangle, right angle at A, and AC is the perpendicular, AB is the base, and BC is the hypotenuse. Now, here we apply the Pythagoras theorem. So P square plus B square is equal to X square. That is the square on the perpendicular plus the square on the base is equal to the sum of these two squares is equal to the square on the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse, of course, is the opposite side of the 90 degree angle. Now, to get back to these identities, let's see what, what are these identities and how they can be established. The first one is sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So, prove it will take the left hand side. Sine theta is a ratio of p upon h. So, this becomes p upon h the whole square. Cos theta is a ratio of b upon h. So, this becomes a ratio of b upon h the whole square. Now, taking the LCM, squaring and taking the LCM, in the numerator, we'll get P square plus B square. And P square plus B square is equal to H square over here. So, we get here H square by H square, that is equal to 1. So, uh, this identity is equal to 1 sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Now, before I move on here, there's something else to also be discussed. Now, it's not necessarily that these identities can be used only in this format. We can even take, um, take this identity as sine square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta. Transformations can be done of the identities by shifting the terms to the left or to the right in all the three cases. The second one is 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta. So here what we do is we take the left hand side again. You can proceed with the right hand side also in this case. So 1 plus tan square theta. This we know is a ratio of P upon B. So this becomes P upon B, the full square. Denominator is B square. So this becomes B square plus P square in the numerator. Again, this is equal to H square by B square. H upon B is equal to sec theta. So H square by B square becomes sec square theta. So this we get as a right hand side. If we even proceed with the right hand side, break up this H square as B square plus B square and separate the terms we we'll get the left hand side. Next one is 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta. So this will become 1 plus b by p the whole square, the left hand side. So this becomes equal to p square plus b square by p square. Again, p square plus b square is x square, x square by p square. So x square, this is a cosec theta. So cosec square theta the right hand side. Same thing we can proceed from the right hand side also and get the left hand side. Now moving on to the applications of these three identities. We will start with very very simple questions and see how these are applied in these simple questions and later on we will take up some difficult or next level question also. So basically the whenever we are asked to prove this uh, left hand side is equal to right hand side, we take the more complicated side and equate it to try to get the most simpler side after simplification. So let us take the left hand side over here. Left hand side is sine theta by 1 plus cos theta, sine theta by 1 plus cos theta, and plus 1 plus cos theta by sine theta. Now what we need to do is simply take the LCM. LCM will be 1 plus cos theta multiplied by sine theta. So this becomes equal to sine square theta plus 1 plus cos theta, the whole square. Now what we do is expand this with a plus b, the whole square formula. 
So this becomes sine square theta plus 1 plus cos square theta plus 2 cos theta divided by 1 plus cos theta into sine theta. So now sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 2. So we get in the numerator 2 plus 2 cos theta divided by 1 plus cos theta into sine theta. So now taking out two common in the numerator, we are left with 1 plus cos theta inside the bracket and 1 plus cos theta in the denominator and sine theta. So these two terms get cancelled. We are left with 2 by sine theta, which can be conveniently written as 2 cosec theta. That is the right hand side. So this is how we proceed and apply the identity and prove the uh, question given uh, the concern question over here. Next one is prove that 1 plus uh, 1 by 1 plus sine theta plus 1 by 1 minus sine theta is 2 sec square theta. Now another thing we are taking the approach in one particular method. It's not necessary that you have to take that particular method only. You can do it in other ways also. Like uh, for example here this is 1 plus um, sine theta in the denominator plus 1 minus sine theta. Now for beginners, we uh, take the LCM method straight away. So this will become 1 minus sine theta plus 1 plus sine theta in the numerator after taking the LCM and the denominator will become 1 minus sine square theta. So here what happens is sine theta, sine theta gets cancelled. In the numerator, we are getting a 2. And if we take the identity, uh, we get over here the first identity cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta. So 1 minus sin square theta can be replaced by cos square theta and we get here 2 sec square theta. So this is the right hand side. It can even be done by multiplying and dividing by 1 minus sin theta and 1 minus sin theta, uh, this by 1, uh, 1 minus sin theta by 1 minus sin square theta and this by 1 plus sin theta and 1 minus sin square theta. So ultimately it will land up you will come to the same thing and you will get the right hand side. Now here we have another question tan theta plus cot theta is equal to 6 square theta plus plus 6 square theta. So here let us take the right hand side. You can take the left hand side also and proceed. You can even convert sine and cot, uh, tan and cot into sine cos and proceed. But here I am going to uh, uh, take the right hand side and just simplify it to get the left hand side. So this is equal to this. Now, 6 square theta can be written as 1 plus tan square theta. And for 6 square theta can be written as 1 plus cot square theta. So, this we can write as 2 plus tan square theta plus cot square theta. Now, 2, we can with 2, we can write 2 tan theta into cot theta because tan theta, cot theta reciprocals of each other. Tan theta into cot theta is 1. So, we get here tan square theta plus cot square theta. So now this is in the format of a plus b the whole square. So we can rewrite this as tan theta plus cot theta the whole square under root. So this becomes equal to tan theta plus cot theta. So this is the left hand side. So you can see uh, we have taken the right hand side and got equal to the left hand side. So if you want to take the left hand side and proceed, you can take this proceed, uh, steps backwards like put it as tan theta plus cot theta whole square under root and break it up and then uh, get these steps and you can get x square theta plus cos square theta under root. You can even change it into sine cos and work it out. Next one is prove that 1 plus cos theta by 1 minus cos theta under root. This is equal to cosec theta this is 1, 1 minus cos theta. This is equal to cosec theta plus cot theta. So we take the left hand side. Now in these questions, what we do is we rationalize the denominator. So what we do is multiply and divide by 1 plus cos theta, 1 plus cos theta. So the numerator becomes 1 plus cos theta whole square and the denominator becomes 1 minus cos square theta under root. Applying the formula a squared minus b squared and in the numerator applying the formula a plus b the whole square. So the numerator uh, 1 plus cos theta the whole square divided by sine square theta under root. 
So the numerator becomes one plus cos theta after taking the square root and the denominator we are getting sine theta after taking the square root. Now separating the terms one by sine theta is equal to cosec theta and cos theta by sine theta is equal to cot theta. So this is equal to the right hand side. So mostly you know, these type of questions, whether it is given cos or sine, whatever it is given, we will rationalize the denominator and then proceed to simplify it. That this is the most easiest approach. Moving on to the next question, we have tan theta minus cot theta by sin theta cos theta is equal to 6 square theta minus cos x square theta is equal to tan square theta minus cot square theta. Now we have to prove we have three uh, cases. So if we start from the left hand side, we get away here tan theta minus cot theta. So let us. Uh, you can uh, proceed with uh, 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 converting it into sine theta cos theta or whatever uh, and then uh, simplifying it. Here what I'm going to do is separate the terms first so this becomes sine theta into cos theta. We can take the other uh, right hand side also and prove it equal to the left hand side so that is also the same thing. Now this becomes cos theta, cot theta by sine theta into cos theta. Now what happens is uh, we know tan theta is sine theta by cos theta. So we get here sine theta by cos, uh, sine theta into cos theta is already there and for tan theta we have one more cos theta. Minus we have here cos theta by sine theta into sine theta cos theta. So now this one uh, sine theta gets cancelled, the cos theta gets cancelled. So we are left with 1 by cos square theta minus 1 by sine square theta. So this becomes equal to sec square theta minus cosec square theta. Now this we have to take it to the uh, third side that is tan square theta minus cot square theta. So sec square theta can be written as 1 plus tan square theta and cosec square theta can be written as 1 plus cot square theta. Here putting the bracket is mandatory because if we open up the bracket then only this will become minus and it will get cancelled. So this uh, becomes 1 plus tan square theta minus 1 minus cot square theta. Apart from that it won't make uh, like it avoid all mistakes we should put them in the brackets if there is a minus sign outside. So this becomes minus 1 and plus 1 gets cancelled we are left with tan square theta minus cot square theta. Theta. You can even proceed from the right side, get this the left side and then this side also. So this is the final right, right side, right hand side too. This was the second case, this was also equal and from here we could get this right hand side. Next one is prove that sec four theta minus six square theta is equal to tan four theta plus tan square theta. So we proceed with the left hand side. From the left hand side, we are getting a sec 4 theta minus sec square theta. So from these two terms, we can easily take out sec square theta common. We are left with sec square theta minus 1. Now sec square theta can be written as 1 plus tan square theta and sec square theta minus 1 can be written as tan square theta. So open up the bracket and multiply, you get tan square theta plus tan 4 theta, which is the right hand side. So this way we get the right hand side. If we proceed from the right hand side, if we take the right hand side in this case, we can take out tan square theta common and we are left with 1 plus tan square theta. So uh, tan square theta can be written as 6 square theta minus 1 and this can be written as 6 square theta. Now if you open, uh, multiply and open up the bracket, you get here sec 4 theta minus 6 square theta. So this is the left hand side. So both ways you can proceed if you want. From the left you can go to the right and from the right to the left. Next one is prove that 1 by sec theta minus tan theta is equal to sec theta plus tan theta. So we take the left hand side 1 by sec theta minus tan theta. This is the left hand side. Now in these cases we will multiply it by we have to get in the numerator sec theta plus tan theta. So we'll multiply and divide by sec theta plus tan theta. We are not changing the question because this by this is equal to one. Now in the numerator, we'll get sec theta plus tan theta. And in the denominator, we will get sec square theta minus tan square theta. 
So this becomes equal to sec theta plus tan theta divided by 1. So this is equal to sec theta plus tan theta, the right hand side. So this way we can take this approach. You can even go from the right to the left. So uh, for the that case, what you need to do is multiply and divide by 1 minus sec theta, multiply and divide by sec theta minus tan theta. So uh, I'll show it over here. So if we take the right hand side over here and we want to achieve the left hand side, the right hand side is given as sec theta plus tan theta. So we'll multiply this by the numerator by sec theta minus tan theta and simultaneously we also need to divide it by sec theta minus tan theta. So the numerator will be sec theta plus tan theta into sec theta minus tan theta and the denominator will only be sec theta minus tan theta. So now this when you multiply you get sec square theta minus tan square theta that is 1, 1 by sec theta minus tan theta that is the left hand side. So this way also it can be done. So you can proceed from the right to the left also. In this case, we have to get this in the denominator. So keep in mind that we'll multiply and divide by sec theta minus tan theta. So the numerator gets equal uh, to one and the denominator, we get the term sec theta minus tan theta. Next question is prove that sine theta plus cosec theta whole square plus cos theta plus sec theta whole square is equal to 7 plus tan square theta plus cot square theta. So with uh, what we do in this case is we take the left hand side and start expanding using a plus b the whole square. So this becomes sine square theta plus 2 sine theta into cosec theta plus cosec square theta. Then the second term becomes a way of cos theta plus uh, sec square theta or 2 sec theta cosec theta 2 sec theta cos theta plus sec square theta plus sec square theta. This is the left hand side. Now sine square theta plus cos square theta. This will give us 1. Sine and cosec are reciprocals of each other. They will cancel each other. So we are left with 2. Second cosec cos are reciprocals. We will get another 2 over here. Cosec square theta can be written as 1 plus cot square theta. And sec square theta can be written as 1 plus tan square theta. So this becomes equal to 7 plus tan square theta plus cot square theta, the right hand side. So we simply had to expand and put the requisite formula to get the final solution. So these were very simple questions that, be, that were based on the first three identities. In the next video, we'll come across more questions pertaining to the same identities. Hope you like the explanation. Thank you for watching. Kindly like, share and subscribe to the channel.